Hi, welcome to the uh, Vancouver Police Canine Unit. My name's uh, Constable Jeff Goodall, and I understand you guys want to come and take a tour of our building. So let's go and take a look. So the first thing I want to show you guys is a monument that was donated to us by uh, uh, Jack and Darlene Poole and the Vancouver Police Foundation. It's an important monument for us because it's got all the dogs that have died in the line of duty. Uh, we've uh, got their names engraved on here and it's just a constant reminder of the sacrifice they did for us in the city of Vancouver. Alright, and from here let's go inside the building. So this is our wall of all our current handlers that are working. Uh, we have 16 dogs and handlers, two sergeants and 14 constables. So these are all the dogs and handlers that we have currently working with us. Another uh, monument that was donated by the Vancouver Police Foundation. It's a wall that uh, remembers all the dogs that have worked with the Vancouver Police Canine Unit. Uh, we first started in 1957. Uh, we're the oldest municipal um, consecutively run canine unit in the country. And on here, you'll see that there's dogs that have passed away. And so we always remember these dogs and their badge numbers. So you have PSD Lupo, and he was born in 2008, and he had the 91st badge. And I'll show you the other monument here in the uh, report writing room. So this one was first made uh, about 12 years ago, and it's got all the dogs that have served the citizens of Vancouver and all their names. We also have up here is a wall of valor, same names that were on the plaque, uh, but these guys here, we just uh, like to keep their pictures and just remember them and uh, what they did in the line of duty. And then lastly, we've got a phrase here that's sort of been adopted by the canine unit, uh, Guardians of the Night. Um, we work 24-7, uh, 365 days, uh, so we're always out. We've always got a canine working on the roads of Vancouver. And then come on down, we're going to show you this uh, hallway here. It's just got a few pictures of uh, our squads throughout the ages. We've got a gym here where we come and work out. It keeps us uh, healthy. Our dogs are athletic and they always keep us mobile and running. So we got to stay up with them and uh, be healthy as well. So come on in here, show you another area. So this is our uh, sort of an area where we can take care of our dogs. Uh, we've got a wash bay. Uh, this is a good place where we can uh, get our dogs up here. We can make sure that they're uh, healthy. We can check them over. We can give them a bath and keep them fresh. And then this is uh, where we can keep our dogs um, food and get ready for the day. Uh, a lot of dogs are on a, a raw diet. Uh, most dogs will eat about two pounds um, a day. Um, and then some dogs are also on kibble. Dogs are on a raw diet, it'd be turkey, uh, beef, chicken, or buffalo. And then we've got here what's our kennels. So we have 20 kennels. Uh, each one is labeled the dog's name. They've all got their own kennel. Um, it's a pretty, uh, pretty nifty kennel. We've got, uh, it's called a 40-60 split. 40% 40 of it's inside and 60% is outside, and I can show you when we go around. Um, it's a really uh, high-tech kennel. It's got heated floors. Uh, the material is designed not to be hard on the dog's paws, and they can uh, comfortably stay in here and uh, have a good place when they're not at home with the handler. And then I'll show you the outside so you guys can take a look. 60% of it's outside. So the dogs can come out and get some fresh air. We have uh, rolling shutters here on this side. And what we can do is if it gets really cold, we can close these down, but for the most part, we'll leave them open so the dogs can come out if they're staying here and get some fresh air. And then we'll go down this way. We've got another area I'll show you. I'll show you our training field. So this is one of the most exciting areas for the dogs. This is a place for the dogs to come and bond with their handler. Uh, it's a fun place for the dog. Uh, they enjoy all these obstacles. But what it does is it teaches the dog that it's, uh, there's all sorts of different things that the dog might encounter throughout their career. Hi, my name is Constable Nick Florco. I'm with the Vancouver Police Dog Squad. This is Police Service Dog Blitz. Right. Good, good boy. This is a fun area for the dogs. Most of uh, the handlers enjoy it. They'll take their dogs through here once a day. Oh it's a good place for them to uh, just unwind and have a fun time. Hi there, my name is Constable Dennis Jesus, the Vancouver Police Canine Unit. This is my police dog, Gibbs. 
So they might have to go through a tunnel, they'll have to jump over fences. We have a little tunnel down there, they'll have to go under things. Uh, they might have to go up somewhere high and they need to feel comfortable up on a higher platform. Uh, the apex here is for uh, the dogs to understand that they might have to run over uh, all sorts of different terrain. Come on with me and I'll show you another area that we keep our dogs. So this is what we call a rapid kennel area. Uh, this is where we can let our dogs out of the truck. They might be in there for a few hours. So this is my dog here, Griffin. Come here, bud. And he goes into the back of the truck if I have to go off to a call. All these are very uh, state-of-the-art trucks. Uh, the back of the kennel is designed so that it uh, will protect the dog. It's got airbags, it's made out of steel. Um, so if we were ever in an accident, a lot of people get concerned that the dogs will get hurt. But we've got all sorts of protective equipment inside there for the dogs. Uh, we got a place for them to drink some water. And uh, a, a lot of times people ask us why our trucks are always running. Well, for the most part, it's because we have, uh, on hot days, we'll have air conditioning going. So it allows the dogs to stay cool and keep them uh, safe and they don't overheat. And again, this is mostly our office. This is where most of the canine handlers will spend their time. Uh, they'll be out on the road, and just like most police vehicles, we've got our computer and our lights and sirens. And most of us will spend a lot of our time in the truck. Just wanted to say thank you for coming down to the Vancouver Police Canine Unit. For more information, uh, you can check us out at vpd.ca or on our Twitter account at vpdcanine.